What is up guys, RSC6414 here, back with another video, this time I'm reviewing Friday Night Smackdown, just aired about, finished airing about an hour ago, um, we had a okay show, not much, nothing great, but it was a few uh, good matches I guess, but uh, first thing we have, Alberto Del Rio comes out, He's since he's got the opportunities, most of you know last week, Vicky Guerrero said that he could choose his opponent for SummerSlam for the World Heavyweight Championship. He comes out and says he chooses Ricardo Rodriguez. She comes out, Vicky Guerrero says she's insulted that he'd take advantage of her like that, that uh, he'd choose an unworthy opponent is what she said. And uh, then he said, well, I'll choose Brooklyn Brawler. And she said no. She had a feeling he'd choose somebody that was too easy. And uh, he, she said she's going to put a triple threat match together tonight. And uh, the winner of that match will be the number one contender. Those people in the match is Randy Orton, Rob Van Dam, and Christian. Right away, you know, Randy Orton's holding the Money in the Bank briefcase for, for basically the WWE Championship. So it really wouldn't make much sense for him to win the world to be the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. So you know it's either going to be RVD or Christian, but whatever. First match we have, Cody Rhodes versus Jack Swagger. Excuse me. Again, Antonio Cesaro isn't accompanying him to the ring. I'm sort of confused if they're even a tag team anymore, the real Americans, but whatever. Cody Rhodes, um, you knew this match right from the beginning. Um, from the get-go, you knew that it was going to be uh, sort of a match to get Cody Rhodes over more as a face and make him look more impressive. Unfortunately, Jack Swagger is basically being the, uh, he got the jobber's entrance here already in the ring when the uh, when we returned from commercial. But in the middle of the match, Jack Swagger hits a swagger bomb on Cody Rhodes for a near fall. Then you have uh, Roll Swagger up, and then... Um, Jack Swagger's going for a uh, body slam, I think. And then uh, Cody Rhodes counters, rolls Jack Swagger up for the one, two, three. And uh, then uh, J Cody Rhodes backstage cuts a promo, a face promo, saying he did it because he threw Sandow's briefcase in the uh, water to get revenge, and he doesn't forgive Sandow. Then Sandow clotheslines, hits him from behind, clotheslines him. And uh, just goes at Rhodes, beats him up, basically throws him into like some kind of crate, and then uh, slams him up against that. And then by that time, security gets him off of him. But you knew that was coming when Rhodes is cutting the promo, because they don't usually do that after a match. But okay, stuff to progress. Next match we have Big E Langston versus Sin Cara. Again, you know who's going to win this match most likely. Uh, even though Sin Cara has won like two matches lately on Superstars in main event, you knew this would be a match to put Big E over. Heel. Uh, Sin Cara goes off with some drop kicks at the beginning for a near fall, for maybe a two count, maybe not a near fall, but then Big E dominates most of the match, just kind of tossing him around the ring. He goes for the bend big ending a couple times, then Sin Cara goes for the uh, cross body off the middle rope, I think it was, or maybe it was a moonsault, one of the two. Big E catches him in midair and then delivers the big ending on Sin Cara for the one, two, three. Ziggler's looking on backstage, but by then it's Big E's one. And we have a Kate segment with Kaylin and Layla. Kaylin uh, talks about how she's going to beat AJ, how she won the Divas Championship for the first time in Houston, where the show is tonight, and she's going to make it happen again. Uh, Layla compliments Kaylin, says she's the most hardworking diva, just kind of compliments her and says how great she is. Layla gives Kaylin a hug, sort of a cheesy segment. Kind of dumb if you ask me, but whatever. Uh, then we go to our match, which is Fandango versus CM Punk. This match all kind of culminated when uh, Fandango uh, interfered, or not interfered, but interrupted CM Punk's promo segment last Friday night, SmackDown, when he's talking about Lesnar. Then Punk delivered the GTS, therefore making this match for Friday tonight. Going in again, you knew who was going to win, most likely. You knew it was going to be CM Punk, or you knew uh, Fandango wouldn't get a, uh, would uh, win, like, lose by disqualification or something like that. Um, early on, middle of the match, Fandango, uh, Irish whip, CM Punk in the steel steps for a uh, nine count. All of us gets that counted out. Then, uh, 
CM Punk. Uh, I think it was CM Punk delivers a suplex on, uh, or yeah, suplex, a superplex on Fandango. Right from the top rope, CM Punk superplexes Fandango. And then right after it, they land on the mat or the canvas. Uh, CM Punk puts Fandango in the Anaconda Vice submission maneuver. Fandango taps right away, and CM Punk wins. Uh, but uh, no surprise. Then we have our Divas Championship match, Kaylin versus AJ Lee. I forgot to mention that. This segment they were talking about was the Divas Championship. It was announced in the beginning. This is the championship match. Uh, Kalen versus AJ. This match was, didn't last too long, you know. Uh, three or four minutes, maybe five minutes, I'd say. But uh, Kalen got her fair share in of uh, offense. Uh, AJ hit a spinning heel kick on uh, sort of like what Rob Van Dam does on Kalen for a near fall. Then Kalen's on the outside of the ring, just slams AJ into the barricade a couple times. Irish whips her. And it looks like she's maybe going to, like, spear her or ram her against the uh, barricade again with her uh, body. But uh, Layla gets in the way, says stop right in front of Kaylin, uh, kind of gets in front of AJ so she doesn't do it. Kaylin's like, what are you doing? AJ uses that as an inter interference and then kicks uh, Kaylin in the gut, throws her in the ring, and then puts the Black Widow submission maneuver uh, probably like 15 seconds later, Caitlyn eventually taps where she's about to pass out, and AJ retains the Divas title. Layla's sitting ringside or standing ringside, smiling sort of evil, maniacally. So it looks like she's going to turn heel. I like that because, uh, to be honest, I think she's better as a heel. Lay cool wasn't she was better then than she was as a face, but she's all right as a face. But I prefer heel, so I'm interested to see what they're going to do. Looks like Layla turned on Caitlyn. And there's now going to be a, a feud with Layla and Kaylin, so it'll be interesting. Next match we have is the triple threat match: RVD versus Randy Orton versus Christian. This match was by far the best match of the night. Uh, at one point in the match, uh, Randy Orton's laying on the barricade; he gets sort of draped over it. Uh, RVD jumps all the way from the ring apron, a heel kick to the back of R Randy Orton's head. Looked pretty vicious. Then right after that, Christian Spears, RVD, on the outside of the ring. Then we have, uh, like, a um, the rolling uh, thunder or whatever RVD does. is caught in midair by Randy Orton and delivers a body slam on RVD in midair. When uh, RVD is going for rolling thunder, he rolls. Then in midair, RV Randy Orton catches him in midair and then body slams him. At that point, that was really cool. Uh, then uh, RVD hits the uh, five-star frog splash. Then uh, eventually that gets uh, broken up, I think, by Orton. Then you have uh, this match sort of all over the place. Uh, then it, towards the end, I'm trying to remember what happens. Um, I think Randy Orton RKO's RV, Rob Van Dam, and then uh, he's about to RKO, RKO Christian. Christian counters. And then uh, puts backslide on Randy Orton for the pinfall. Uses that backslide to roll up Randy Orton for the one, two, three. Christian is your new number one contender. Great match. Best match of the night. Lasted probably 20 minutes. Just good stuff all around from these three. Uh, definitely did not lived up to expectations. You figured it'd probably be Christian, but you thought maybe there was a chance RVD since he lost to Del Rio. But after Christian beat Del Rio, you figured he'd be him. It'll be interesting to see uh, SummerSlam, Christian versus Del Rio for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, and interesting to see how this uh, feud will probably play out. Uh, I forgot to mention at the end, after Christian's your number one contender, Del Rio comes from behind ambushes Christian and then delivers the super kick on Christian takes Christian out and then the show ends with Del Rio standing over Christian smiling and everybody booing him so the heel uh, is working uh, basically all the fans hate him and uh, it's what you're supposed to be as a heel but pretty good show I wouldn't say it was the best there was one really good match and the rest were just sort of mediocre you knew who was going to win most likely nothing great Overall, I give this show the grade, give it a 5 out of 10. Um, so, yeah, overall, 5 out of 10.
Uh, just a mediocre show. I hope you enjoyed my review. Check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks, guys.